What's up guys? Um, we are out on the Saginaw Bay today. We're about five and a half miles out. We spent the morning getting out here. Um, but yeah, super excited. We got about around 16 inches of ice, I'd say. So um, plenty of ice out here. This is my first time ever out on Saginaw Bay, on the hard water at least. Um, so yeah, we're excited. We are currently in 24.8 feet of water and we're gonna try to stay as mobile as we can. If we're not marking fish every like half hour or 45 minutes, we're gonna move. Um, just to kind of cover some ground or cover some water and see if we can get on some fish uh, We got the whole day out here. So pretty stoked. We're gonna get after it and uh, yeah The target species today is walleye obviously, but wouldn't be surprised to get some big perch mix in there, too So see if we can get on anything This is 5 16 I want to say and Yeah, I got that to a seven pound liter of fluorocarbon and that just goes to a little connection knot Oh, you got a fish on you? You got him on me. Oh, come on. Get down there. I'm going to get down there and then talk, guys. That's hot. That's a really good sign. Got him? Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. All right. We're getting on down for the first drop of the day. Eric's already got one on him. Like a good mark. It would be nuts if we could get hooked up in the first spot. I can't tell. Is that one on me? Yep. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a couple down there, dude. Got him? Let's go. Let's go. Good fish. Is it big? It's a good fish. Way better than the river. I, oh, there he is right there. It's a nice walleye, dude. Look at him through the ice. Beautiful. Just take your... Oh, oh no! Dude. That's what's so tough about this ice. Oh, so we just got a baby him once we get him up to the mouth of that. Yeah, learn. All right, guys. So that was quite the uh, start. I was trying to do a little intro and like tell you guys what bait I'm using, which is the Rapala Shad Wrap, Jiggin Shad Wrap, I think. Um, but yeah, while I was doing that, within the first like two minutes of dropping down, we had that nice walleye come in. Eric hooked him, got him all the way up to the hole, and like he kind of came in weird, like he was way back this way, and so he was coming across like right under the ice, and one of the hooks got caught right on the lip of the ice. So he popped off around I don't know 18 to 20 inches, so definitely a good one, good eater. But we got all day. Hopefully we can get a few more like that and get him up through the hole. what is up guys little update for you as you can tell we have changed spots on um, this ice is super sweet here super clear it's like i don't know i think it's even thicker here than where we were before probably 18 inches of ice here 12 15 and anyways we fished that hole for about another hour without a single mark or fish or anything so we packed up and moved probably a quarter mile maybe half mile um and so we just set up shack here we've been here probably 10 minutes no marks yet uh, we're in 23 feet here, so we're going to stick it out here for another half hour or so. We're about six or seven miles from Linwood, probably. Six. So we're out here ways, but we're going to give it this spot and then one more. And then if not, we're going to head back in towards Linwood. Was that a fish? Yeah, it was. There's a fish on us. Come on. There we go. Let's go. Come on, baby. Oh, I am. Oh, you can see him through the ice. It looks like a good one. I'm going to be super gentle with him. I got him. I got him. There we go. Grab him. Nice. Let's go. Woo. That's a good one. I think yours was a little bit bigger. I will take that. Let's go. I'm going to open up some windows, get the big camera out, give you guys a look. But that was sweet. Just doing a little intro on the spot. Looks like we might have to stay here for a minute. Alright, I got a sighting past you, sir, man. It might have just been interference, but see up above you? At like 19? Yeah, he's there. He's faint. Oh, he's not. He's right there. He's off on the side of the cone. Rip this. Rip this. You got a fish on you. Come on. Got him? Nice. All of a sudden I looked down, I'm like, dude, there's one on you. Nice and easy. Oh, you do have that same lip. Mm -hmm. I 
try to. Oh, him. he's a little guy. He'll keep though. Yeah. No way, dude. Look at this. He's on my line. Oh. He's on your line. Are you sure? Positive. Okay. Oh, he's not as small as I thought. No, nice job. Good. One second. I just about had a heart attack. Nice job, man. That's sweet. Bing bong. Yeah, oh, that's like a 15, probably 16 incher. Yeah, 15 and a half. Gorgeous second. Beautiful fish. fish. Like you said, perfect eater. That was a cool eat. You were looking at the trap, and then all of a sudden, I was like, dude, there is a fish he's like, on. He's on the other well, because he, he was chasing the trap, and then I think he yeah, went he down. dropped down exactly. He went down. We might be on a little something. That's three marks. We've caught two of the three marks in the last half hour, so doesn't suck. We're probably gonna stay put for a minute and uh, keep at it. Super cool setup. It's sweet being able to see him through the ice too. All right, guys, we got another fish. He just came up to the jig and wrap, the rip and wrap. Sorry. Oh, I, oh, dude, that's a unit. He's all over mine. Dude, that's a big fish. He's yellow. Got him? Yes. Is that another fish on me, dude? That is another fish. No, that's another fish. Oh, no. All right, guys, there's a fish right on the bottom. There's two or three now. Those might be perch, honestly. They look a little bit... Got him? Dang, dude, they're eating yours. There's still one more down there. Yeah, stay down there. Perch or walleye? Nice. There's two or three down there. Get back down. Come on. Is there, is still there? Yeah, two or three now. Dude, they won't eat it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's another one down there. Get on down. Oh, dude, this is big. This is big. Yeah, he's right there. Oh, he's a good one. I'm gonna take my time. Oh, dude, he's a big one. Big. I'm gonna loosen up on him. I might need your help, bro. Oh my gosh. Dude, unit. Like big and. I'm loosening up. Here, no, 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 no. Just. I know, I know, I know. Just let him do his thing. Wait, be patient. I know, I know, I know. We're good, we're good. Don't I'm grab. I'm not gonna grab it. I'm just gonna wait till his nose comes through the hole. Yeah. Hole in. Sorry. It's... You're good. I'm just. I got my drag super loose. Here, let me keep tension. I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not gonna touch him. I'm not touch You're good. You're good. He's not yet. Yeah. Nope. No. Get him. Grab him. Grab him. <laughs> oh, that was scary. <laughs> So I promise That's I a good one. Too early. I'll let you do your thing. No, I was talking about I was talking about the line. Yeah. All right. Look at how this fish ate it, guys. It took him a minute to commit, but uh, yeah, once he did, he decided he wanted that. And I, that was the first one where I sat the hook and he didn't move. My drag slipped big time, and I was like, my drag's not that loose. <laughs> that is super fun, super cool when you can see him the whole way through the ice. It actually helps you a ton to know how to play them and where their head's at, especially with this much ice. All right, guys, there's a look at that bigger one. It's not quite as big as I originally thought. It looked pretty huge under the ice, but definitely an awesome Saginaw Bay fish. For sure a female, right, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get ready to spawn. She's nice fat. size female. She's, She's probably, fat. I'd say it's 23, 24 inches maybe. Yeah. Nothing huge, but nice, healthy, real thick female. Going to get a couple pictures and get back down there. All right, guys, it's been a little bit now, but we just marked a fish right on the bottom. He didn't come up at our baits, but he, like, just rose up off the bottom real slow. So we'll, we'll see if we can call him in or... He's all over it. That's a big mark, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't go back down. Got him. Nice. That looks large. That. That's that, so much fun. That looks large. It feels large. It feels very I just saw him dart. Oh, dude, big one. How many? No, I got it now. Okay. He's just taking mine now. Here you go. Take your time. I'd rather work this fish with my fingers. No, here you go. It's alright to be loose. That's a big one. Yeah, that might be like eight pounds. Keep it super loose. You're good, you're good. You're right. 
Dude, that's a big one. You're good. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it yet. Don't, don't rip it. Got him? I got him. Woo! <laughs> Bang! Dude! That's a big one. That's gorgeous. Open your mouth for us, Wally. It's probably six or seven, right? I don't know about eight. Yeah, he's not eight. No. He's probably six pounds. I'm shaking for you. Beautiful fish. They look way bigger under the ice. Beautiful oh, fish. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that's awesome. We were just talking, though. Um, I'm sure you guys could hear it because I think I started the GoPro in time, but those big girls seem to, like, just lay on the bottom, belly to the bottom, and just slowly creep up. And, like, you really got to coax them into eating, whereas those little guys are, like, flying up and quick coming up on the uh, jig and wrap way up high. But those those big girls, they like sitting on the bottom and just slowly rising up. And we both were working her for probably 30 seconds before she ate. That's so sick, though. You could tell she's a big one the way she crept up and bright yellow mark. I'll open this up so you have some light. What's up, guys? Um, one more quick update on you before it gets too late in the evening. It is 4.52 right now, so we're approaching the last, I don't know, hour, hour and a half probably until it gets really dark. Um, but we decided to move spots. We fished that second spot, like I said, for 50 minutes without a bite. Didn't mark anything, nothing. So we decided to send it in to give us ourselves a better chance at um, some perch or just hope to find a new area that has some walleye in it. So we're currently sitting in 18.9 feet. So about four or five feet shallower. Um, and we're about four miles closer in towards Linwood. So yeah, we're going to give it a go here. We're going to stick it out here the rest of the night. So. Alrighty guys, well unfortunately that is going to be a wrap on the video. We moved to this third spot on the day and fished here for another hour. Um, as you can tell, it's getting dark now. We should, we're in prime time right now, but unfortunately we're not around any fish. We haven't marked a single thing or nothing in the last hour. So instead of uh, messing with packing up in the dark, we're going to get out of here. And then I got to drive two and a half hours back to the west side of the state to uh, get home and then go to class and work tomorrow. So we're going to get a little head start instead of sticking it out till uh, as late as we originally planned. But thank you guys for watching. It was super fun. It was my first time out here. Definitely will not be my last. Um, yes, a really cool atmosphere out here. It's really hard to explain um, until you like do it yourself. I've heard a lot of guys talk about how cool it is being way offshore like that, but it's a first for me to actually do it. But like I said, ton of fun. Yeah, I was very happy with the fish we were able to catch. Uh, definitely not taking that for granted. So like I said, hope to be out here soon in the next, I don't know, two weeks or so. But that is gonna be it for today. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Go blue. Go blue.